Hi all. In this video, we will discuss object relational mapping that is ORM in Odoo 15. So as we know, inside uh, ORM is just a bridge or we can assume that ORM is a bridge between the programming language and the database inside which the data is stored. So we have many what we say we have many advantages uh, for ORM rather than using the uh, SQL or the MySQL type of uh, old language type conventions that is before we used to, to insert values manually into the database by using the insert into query but uh, for the Odoo developers we might have noticed that in Odoo, when we just select a value from the uh, uh, front end or the, from the form view, since we are using the ORM, it will be automatically mapped into the database. And we need not insert the values manually or we need not write any query for that separately. So ORM provides us three functions that is um, sorted off, uh, filtered and one more so we will see uh, sorry mapped so we and we will see these functions in detail so why we use the sorted off function is because is uh, Here you can see we are returning a returning a statement here and inside that we are sorting a field that is GS. Here GS contains some value and we are sorting and retrieving the IDs based on the category name. So it is used for sorting uh, from a huge number of data. We need not write any separate for loop or while loop for sorting data from a collection. We can just pass the arguments into the sorted function so that we will get the values sorted. And next you can see dot filtered. Similarly dot filtered also will give us the values filtered based uh, and in self filtered we can write lambda functions which will make things easier so that we can we will get the data as we intend to based on the function we define inside the filtered function from a huge number of data here you can see that a filtered function is defined and inside the uh, argument that defined a lambda function x dot tax line id dot tax eligibility equal to so that this self dot line ids will contain many datas and inside that we are just filtering datas which contain the tax eligibility as on payment so we just need only those datas whose tax eligibility state is on payment and next we use dot mapped here Similarly, the sale orders will contain many values and inside the sale order we will have different columns such as name, uh, customer name, uh, partner ID, uh, price etc. So from that we just need only name means we can just call that field name here so that only that particular field name will be stored into whatever we are storing into either returning or storing value into a variable. So these are the three functions provided by ORM.